<laughs> what is up guys today we are going to be installing the o34 motorsport rear sway bar on the uh, a4 it should stiffen the suspension up a lot uh it should solve a lot of the body roll issues i'm having with cornering and maybe make it handle not so much like a boat on wheels and more like the sports wagon that it is. But uh, yeah, it, it should be simple enough. Let's get it up on uh, the ramps and we'll go ahead and install it. What are you filming now with Crocs? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so by ramps I mean these fucking iron sheet little things. Whoa, they're mine. The Matt's amazing ramps. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we don't obviously haven't got an actual ramp. Do you think I am? Um, yeah, the thing is, the ramps are about this wide, and my tyres about that wide, so we'll see how it goes. Matt will back me on, right? Sure, like I did last time, and not tell you to stop when it slides. Oh, listen to that tractor go. Watch him fuck this up. Jesus. Maniac! Back a bit. Stop! See, I'm so good. Ugh, my back. <laughs> oh, kill Hold yourself. It, boys. Yeah, my car does that. Yeah, my car did it first. Oh yeah, another thing guys with this. Obviously not video worthy. Boot now. <laughs> hey, 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 let's do it! Yeah, Instantaneous! Hold on, so I've got these springs <clears throat> on the struts, you can get them on eBay. And uh, it basically pushes the boot open. Let me show that again for you guys. Don't worry, we can cut it out. Nah. Hey! Hey! Basically a 2018 car now. Hey, I found it already! Better start on most of my videos. Alright guys, so, rear sway bar is here. Uh, you, I know you haven't seen the new one yet, but it is like, tiny compared to the uh, uprated one I'm buying, so it should sort a lot of this body roll out. I don't know what the diameter of this is, but it doesn't look like a lot. I mean, that's my finger now, and that's the bar's diameter. But anyway, so it's held on by these brackets up here, which we need to disconnect. Those bolts look rusty as fuck. <laughs> but yeah, and then it Those goes into here, onto these end links. Um, we're reusing, reusing the end links because they're not made of money. Uh, but we're unbolting both of these end links and then that should lift up and then we have to try and unbolt the end link at the top of the bar there. Oh, what a fucking And unbolt these. Turn the light on, show properly. Unbolt these ones, unbolt the end link up there and unbolt the end link bracket down here. Um, and then to actually... Get remove it it, the air uh, bar. I have heard you have to drop the exhaust down. So the exhaust brackets are up there, which we could remove, or we could, I'm thinking, maybe just unhitch them from the rubber hangers. Nah. I think we'll try it first because it's easier. <laughs> when is the easy route? <laughs> Can you pass WD 40 as well? You, oh, you want WD 40? I'm gonna spray them down. Do I look like a fucking slag? Yeah. Also, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I'd like to thank you for um, 70 subs no 72 subscribers we're on now, getting closer to 100 every day, and 100 I'm going to be very happy with. Please, some power tool companies sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> 100 subscribers potentially we're gonna do a special episode road trip kind of thing similar esque to top gear um well slightly shittier version i guess you could say 
I'm sure Matt will be in it, in his Barrera review coming out on that soon. We might need to drop the exhaust now, actually. Right, bang some WD-40 on there. Heave and heave and heave until the car drops on me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I hate working on cars. <laughs> Got it. It might be easy if we had a flat head. That's your key to go get a flat head. Why don't you get a mat? I'm not sure about me, you can. Oh, you've got a fucking bunk in. That's a good idea. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. That's all coke. <laughs> I know. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Any companies that make ramps, if they want to sponsor me, <laughs> send me, ship me over a garage. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Just a shipping container that you could put a car in and have room to work around it. Sounds fucking great. Man. All right, so yeah, I'm just uh, ratcheting these brackets off. This is the first one. I'm going to go do the uh, second one in a minute. Oh, that's not a nice bolt. Lucky we're using new ones. We'll show you the new sway bar in a minute, even though you're pretty fucking like five minutes into the video. Oh my god, imagine if it was like the same, if it was like 30, mm. fucking 35 degrees again today like it was yesterday. Nah, I don't want to even imagine. Mm. Yeah, because global warming isn't the thing. It's not, I did A-level geography. The earth is also flat. Right, sway bar's off. Let's go take the end link brackets off now. These are nicer to get off. The end link should just slide out. Oh, it's completely free now. Yeah, well, so, it's a little difficulty. Can we like twist it? Yeah, it's almost there. Just pull it. Push it down. Yeah, there you go. This is the old sway bar. That's cracked there. Ooh. When I've been taking the corners at 70. Jokes. <laughs> Jokes, that'd be illegal. Um, we don't need to use these, reuse these bushings. We don't need to reuse anything on this actually. The mounts, we've got all fresh mounts. Put this here. I'll go show you the new one. What? Old bar, new bar. That is, that is considerably thicker, isn't it? Considerably yeah. larger. It's a lot heavier, well, quite a bit heavier as well. But yeah, so this new bar I bought is 25.6 mil uh, in diameter, I think. And the stock one, I can't remember, it's either 20 mil or 22 mil. Um, I'm gonna say like 20, I think the S-Line model, which I have is 22 mil. Um, but yeah, so get this one in, lot, lot wider, lot stronger. Uh, this one also had a crack in it. I don't know if you can see that, so probably wouldn't be best. It probably wasn't doing a great job anyway. Uh, so yeah, I guess good job we're replacing it out. But yeah, so basically reverse order. Uh, slot it back in, reconnect the end links. Put these on first. Yeah, chuck the, the mounts on and reconnect the exhaust and then we'll take it up for a, a drive on some roundabouts, test it out. Okay, so. After much fucking wiggling and moving it around, we've got it roughly in place. These rubber bushings go into those mounting points again, and then the sway bar goes back there uh, and connects to the drop links, which will be connected in there. Uh, you're gonna want the Motorsport uh, 034 sticker, which is now insanely scratched, um, facing towards you. So like, this is the rear of the car. So you want it facing out towards you, and then the bars curve uh, up and then back towards where the drop links are. All right, so all installed, correct way. Just tightening the final drop link, end link, not drop link. And uh, I guess then we'll take it out, give it a test drive, see, uh, see the difference. That should be how to install a 034 Motorsport sway bar on your Audi A4 B7. Simples. Let me just pack up and we'll go for a drive. Alright guys, so 
Sorry, the uh, video is a bit of an odd angle and uh, the shot's not great. It's just a cheap GoPro. But yeah, the uh, sway bar is installed. And I was like, no roll on that turn. But I gotta get some speed to test this, to test this bar. But yeah, you, you, you'll get the, uh, you'll see the impression when, when we hit some roundabouts. In fact, I don't know why we're going, let's go Crips, we're going roundabouts, we wanna go this way. I mean, actual ride quality doesn't feel a lot different. No. So it feels pretty similar. Oh my god, that is, that is better. <laughs> that is better. Your bitch can be shifted to reduce the background noise. Now that's very good, isn't it? It is very good, but I wonder, you know when you listen to someone, you're also watching the mouth work, so to see if you're talking about the idea, you understand that concept, I do think so. Oh my god, it's so different. <laughs> there was like no body roll in that. <laughs> What was that? I'm gonna get iced coffee, strawberry on and a chicken legend. Why would she? Oh, this is, see, no, no. In the in the in the old thing, the fucking roll on that would have been insane, wouldn't it? Like the whole fucking side would be. We would have flipped. We would have flipped. Oh, yeah. we went off flipped, but. <laughs> but a bit of an exaggeration there. Alright, guys, so that is the uh, O4 Motor Sport sway bar installed. Um, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I think it, it changed the car quite a bit. It's much better at handling now. Um, I don't think I said actually, I paid £265 for it, including uh, shipping and taxes, so it's quite expensive, but I would say it was worth it. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, put a button down here for you that you can click uh, to subscribe to the channel, and two videos over here. Um, if you enjoyed this one, uh, go ahead and give those a watch, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.